Hello everyone, we welcome you back to CLG Machines. Today we'll look at the sophisticated processes and cutting-edge technology that turn plain farm-raised pigs into delectable dinnertime mainstays. If you're new, don't hesitate to click subscribe so you don't miss the most recent video. Thank you guys. Did you realize that contemporary food machines are responsible for every tasty and nutritious meal we enjoy? Of course, there is still human assistance. If you wish to learn more about the food magicians featured in this film, please contact me. Workers use a small sharp knife to handle these pigs, which weigh more than one quintal each. At this stage, he will use a little chainsaw to remove the bones. Turning to this side, you will see a wide table with perfectly processed beef pieces. The meat will be separated in equal halves. Finally, pack up and deliver to the factory next door for the next step. Hey friend, check out these slices. These titanium-coated blades work quickly. The robot arm has also been trained to pick up and place bits of meat into the mold. Our sharp blade technology and smart design allow you to cut meat swiftly and accurately while keeping it clean and of high quality. You know what I mean? The bad boy can surprise you with its precision. These delicious slices that penetrated every fiber of the meat made me feel great. He can cook bacon, pork, and sausage wonderfully. Come back to the factory with me for a moment and watch how the ribs and tenderloin are separated. These gears seem extremely sick, like something out of a science fiction film. What about the discarded parts? Oh crap, they're going to the feed mill. Okay, let's check this out. We had ham rolls that looked beautiful and tasted great. Whether they are produced on an elaborate assembly line or made with love by skilled hands. These rolls go through a careful process that requires the perfect combination of technique and care. They cut and package them really quickly using this conveyor belt. Let me tell you that this line produces up to 100 tons of cold meat a day. Have you ever wondered if the chicken or the egg came first? Well, the food sector is full with miracles, like this line. Its blade is as sharp as a knife, and it operates with incredible power. Crazy, huh? Can they slice both ham and ham? Truly flexible. People began using them 50 years ago, and they remain the top choice now. Oh, I haven't introduced you to this guy yet. Postu is a powerful automated robot arm. He and the sausage have been together for 10 years. Yo, let's skip the meat processing plant and go straight to the factory. Join me in the grape packing plant. Vacuum technology and total sanitation will ensure that food remains fresh and delicious for an extended period. Wow, look at this. This is a plant in suburban Ohio. The length of the chain is simply appalling. Fruits that do not fulfill the specifications will be discarded. These robot arms are equipped with magnetic vacuum devices. The apples will be unable to fall while they work. 
Each bundle contains exactly 25 fruits. The five arms merge amazingly fluidly as if they were one body. The worker's only job is to pack these packets into cartons. Isn't the work simple? Can you determine which type of butter this is? Exactly, it is a popular sort of butter in the northern region known as almond butter, produced in a closed, completely clean production line. An interesting fact is that this form of butter originated in Vietnam. After World War II, Vietnamese civilians followed American soldiers and took this butter recipe with them. Can you imagine a factory without people? This is the FR Navy 334 plant. They are remote controlled and operated. Nothing complex, simply click the button and the chains will link together. Boom. They run smoothly and efficiently without monitoring. Is this the future? These hard breads are delivered to the cutting area. It felt like a dark, terrible tunnel. That means that simply passing through will be cut into multiple pieces. The cakes will cry, oh Nuu, you know what I'm saying. I hope you enjoy my jokes. Our sharp blade technology and smart design allow you to cut bread swiftly and accurately while keeping it clean and of high quality. The U.S. bread industry is massive, with billions of dollars in sales each year. Bakery items, whether from small local bakeries or huge chains like Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme, have always been popular with consumers. Red Delicious is the name of this apple. However, it is interesting to note that this type of apple is not native to America. In the 1980s, Red Delicious apples amounted for approximately 75% of our country's apple production, but this figure has since dropped significantly owing to a variety of circumstances. Are you tired of housework, especially cooking? I've got you, homie. This is Washington's largest vegetable processing plant. Every day, this badass can process up to 4,000 tons of food without making any mistakes. A number that causes the bed you are lying in to shake. Purchase this machine for your kitchen today. It will greatly benefit you. Let's find out how they function. Simply place the vegetables you want to cut in here, and they will revolve continuously, just maybe. The results are shown below. This guy can be chopped in a variety of ways, including sliced and diced. Take a look at a modern, fully automated cheese processing line with sharp, precise blades for smooth slicing. This cutting edge machine line is designed for maximum efficiency and speed, resulting in high quality cheese production with minimal waste. It is ideal for high volume operations since it speeds up, cleans up, and ensures consistency in the cheese cutting process. This machine line revolutionizes the dairy business by providing a perfect solution for cheese manufacturers who value quality and productivity. At the heart of a bustling Korean street market, where traditional techniques reign supreme, a master chef whips up a cheese bomb. This isn't your average pork cutlet, it's an explosion of flavor tightly packed into a golden breaded crust.
Here, amidst the noise and flair of the market, each cheese pork cutlet is made by hand, a testament to the art of cooking in the face of an era dominated by pork food industry machines. While large-scale operations in America often rely on pork processing factories to churn out volume, this street stall focuses on quality. The chef, a true craftsman, shuns the rapid methods of pork meat processing plants for a more personal touch. The cutlets are stuffed to the brim with rich, gooey cheese, creating a satisfying pull as you bite into the crispy exterior. It's a sensory delight that draws a crowd, each person eager to experience the magic of melting cheese mingled with perfectly seasoned pork. As the cheese oozes out, it's clear why this dish is a hit it combines comfort food with a twist of excitement. Yet it's a reminder that in the realm of food, sometimes slower is better. The dedication to handcrafting each cutlet ensures a quality and taste that machines can Amidst the bustling streets of downtown, there's a gem that beckons both locals and travelers alike. Picture this a quaint Korean street food joint tucked away, yet impossible to miss, radiating tantalizing aromas that seem to pull you closer with each step. What sets this place apart? It's none other than a BBQ restaurant born from the depths of a pork processing factory. At first glance, you might wonder, pork food industry machines? In a restaurant, yes, indeed. But don't let the industrial roots fool you here. It's all about handcrafted perfection. This isn't your run-of-the-mill pork fare churned out by soulless machines. No, sir. It's a celebration of flavor, where each succulent bite tells a story of meticulous care and passion. Step inside, and you'll be greeted by the savory symphony of sizzling pork, a melody that promises to dance on your taste buds. The ambience is electric, alive with the energy of diners eagerly awaiting their feast. As you settle in, the aroma of perfectly grilled pork fills the air, teasing your senses and leaving you craving for more. This isn't just any pork joint, it's a shrine to the art of meat processing. Here, pork isn't just pork, it's a testament to quality and tradition. From the pork processing plant to your plate, every step is meticulously curated to ensure maximum flavor and tenderness. This is Pork Done Right, a culinary journey that transcends the ordinary and ventures into the extraordinary. In the heart of a vibrant Korean market, a small omelet shop stands out not just for its flavors but for the incredible dedication of its owner, who operates solo for 16 hours a day. Here, amid the clattering of pans and sizzling of butter, a culinary spectacle unfolds that draws food lovers from all walks of life. This isn't your ordinary egg omelet spot. The owner, dubbed the egg crazy boss by locals, handles every aspect of the cooking process without the assistance of staff or the convenience of food industry machines. 
in contrast to the pork processing factories and pork food industry machines prevalent across America, which streamline production and output. This little shop celebrates the art of cooking by hand. The omelets here are more than just eggs whipped and cooked, they are a canvas for showcasing fresh, local ingredients, each dish crafted with a precision that rivals the meticulousness of any pork giant in the food industry. The difference? Here, every omelet is filled with love and the kind of personal touch that machines in a pork meat processing plant could never replicate. The menu might be simple, but the flavors are anything but. Each omelet is a perfect blend of tenderness and taste, often leaving newcomers amazed at how something so basic can be elevated to such heights. While pork processing plants efficiently handle large volumes of meat, supported by an array of sophisticated machinery, this street food stall prioritizes quality over quantity, connection over convenience. It's a testament to the idea that in a world increasingly dominated by automation and speed, there's still immense value in the slow and careful craft of handmade food. While many embrace the efficiency brought by pork meat processing and other industrial food production techniques, there is also a growing appreciation for artisanal and handcrafted foods. This omelet shop embodies that spirit, serving not just a meal but an experience that resonates with anyone who values the human touch in culinary creations. There's a unique charm to watching candy being made by hand, a scene as mesmerizing as an artist painting a masterpiece. In a world where the buzz of food industry machines often drowns out the old rhythms of artisan craftsmanship, these traditional candy makers hold their ground, creating sweet wonders that captivate both the eye and the palate. In the heart of America, far removed from the colossal pork food industry machines and sprawling pork meat processing plants, these candy artisans prefer the gentle heat of a stove to the impersonal hum of machinery. The result? Each piece of candy is not just a treat, but a piece of handcrafted art. As you watch these skilled artisans at work, it's easy to forget the modern world buzzing around us. Unlike pork processing factories or the massive operations in the pork giant industry, candy making retains a personal touch, something increasingly rare and precious. The process starts with boiling sugar, a simple beginning that transforms into something magical. As the sugar melts and caramelizes, the air fills with a sweet aroma, promising delights to come. Colors swirl into the molten sugar like paint on a palette, turning ordinary ingredients into vibrant visual treats. Then comes the pulling and stretching, a dance performed with buttered hands and a marble slab, cooling the candy while shaping it into glossy ropes. These artisans, with their deft hands, can twist and cut the candy into a multitude of shapes and sizes, 
each with its own unique pattern and flavor. Some candies might be filled with delicate essences of fruits, nuts, or even spices, echoing America's diverse culinary landscape. This craft is not just about making candy, it's about preserving a culinary heritage that machines in the pork meat processing or any other segment of the food industry could never replicate. The allure of these candies lies not only in their taste, but also in their connection to the community. Each piece tells a story of local traditions, ingredients sourced from nearby fields, and flavors that resonate with the local culture. It's a stark contrast to the mass-produced products rolling out of pork processing plants or the uniformity produced by pork food industry machines. In America, a melting pot of cultures and traditions, these candy shops serve as reminders of the human element in food production. They remind us that in an age dominated by automation and efficiency, there's still room for the personal touch, for the artisan's hand to guide the process. As the sizzle of perfectly marinated pork fills the air in a bustling Korean street market, the allure of traditional Korean BBQ takes center stage. This isn't your ordinary grilled fare. It's a culinary ritual deeply rooted in the culture and entirely handcrafted, despite the rising dominance of pork food industry machines across the globe. In this corner of the world, the craft of Korean BBQ stands defiant against the automation seen in pork meat processing plants in the U.S., where large-scale production dominates. Here, each piece of meat is tenderly prepared, marinated with a blend of soy sauce, sugar, sesame oil, garlic, and a hint of pear to tenderize the meat and artisan touch that machines in a pork processing factory could never replicate. The grill used is simple yet effective, often fueled by charcoal that imparts a distinct smokiness, a characteristic that no pork giant's advanced equipment could hope to achieve. It's not just cooking, it's an art form, where the timing and the fire's heat are as crucial as the ingredients themselves. All right, get ready for this fruity tidbit. Did you know that the top dog in the fruit game in the US is none other than the humble banana? That's right, even though bananas are native to tropical regions, they've become a staple in American diets. Thanks for joining us as we uncovered the fascinating journey from farm to table. Stay tuned to CLG Machines for more insights into how modern machinery is enhancing our food production. See you next time.
Here's a sneak peek of our team hard at work. Stay tuned for exciting upcoming episodes filled with surprises.